get in the red cut back kings again harvey elliott you absolute star boy um i i, I thought we were crap but i really did but once again the reds show resilience they show determination they show grit they show fight um and we produced another comeback uh, a comeback which was needed we could go away from this game with only one point with no points it had to be all three um and when you need players to step up it's Mo Salah who steps up it's Harvey Elliott who supports the Reds um, from a little kid and he comes on and he produced a bit of magic Liverpool were missing all game long. All game long it just felt like we didn't have anyone who could carry the ball and really attack their defence. It was all just passing side to side. We were really lethargic in the first half. We had loads of possession but didn't do enough with it. I don't even think we had a shot on target uh, in that first half. We were really, really poor creatively. Um, and like I said, there was no one direct. We couldn't get Darwin Nunes, Luis Diaz. We couldn't get Mo Salah into the game. Uh, and at half time, I was really hoping Jürgen was going to scream at them, uh, have a word with them uh, and then come out a little bit better. Better because our away fans were brilliant by the way from half 12 our fans were boss and it was just Liverpool who couldn't produce on the pitch Arsene Becker my word what he is the best goalkeeper in the world he saves us time and time and time again an unbelievable a ridiculous save in the first half um, and he even makes sure that it goes off the post and out the Reds are top of the league the Reds are top of the league. Uh, yeah, the Reds are top of the league. Uh, all thanks to Alison Becker and all thanks to Harvey Elliott. Um, obviously, nil nil half time. We wanted more, we needed more, and they get a penalty. And it felt like seven minutes after the thing. It was only a minute forty something. Um, I'm going to assume it was a penalty just to be given. Uh, so I'm going to assume that's perfectly fine. Uh, I've not seen anything about it. So yeah, they got a penalty and they went on the lock and really it was all of the first fault. We hadn't been good enough on the day. We hadn't been good enough to, to really take anything from that first half, from that game. Um, and their goal actually woke us up. It made us get into gear a bit. We had to show something then. Um, and we did a little bit that red card are you you are such a stupid footballer uh, because if you just stay on that pitch i don't i think we could have played all day and not scored at all but are you messes up so badly you just when you're on a yellow you can't file them again on the uh, when when we're on the break but they did and that red card changed it for liverpool um we then had a lot more chances. Uh, Joe Gomez down that right-hand side was great. Gary Gakpo was good once again. A lad who carried us up the pitch, who got on the ball and drove forward and made their defence think about who they had to mark and if they had to step up or drop deep. Um, and yeah, Harvey Elliott's goal, we're like running out of time, we're screaming for a winner and he pops up with a bit of absolute magic. Uh, his left foot bottom bins. Uh, Mo Salah obviously gets the equaliser. That's kind of brushed past because it's a, a goal like the flex in and we all just want to go back to the halfway line and get on with it. Um, but the pressure was on and Harvey Elliott. My, I, I can't even sum up what I've just seen. It's absolutely chaotic this season. It's going to continue going like that. But as long as Liverpool pick up these points, I do not care. Take that momentum, take it into Manchester United and let's go. Let's have them at Anfield. Up the Reds.